Do you sleep with your bedroom doors open or closed? Closed. Oh. Closed. Closed. Closed? Yeah. Cracked. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are like the rest of the country. It's pretty split. I sleep with my door closed. My kids sleep with the door open. I never gave it a moment's thought, but turns out that little difference could mean the difference between life and death. And not just a little difference either, a big one. This morning, you're about to see it in action, and it will change the way you sleep tonight. Fire starting small, but in an instant, flashing over. Nobody deserves something like this. Sparking without warning while you sleep. I'll sink it up and out. Fire, fire. And house fires are beyond common. Every year, more than 350,000 homes catch fire. But there's a way to contain these fires and give you and your family extra time to escape. Right now, we're just outside Philadelphia. Fire safety experts have actually built this house for us to burn down. We're going to burn down this house to show you what we're talking about. Come on inside. We're talking about the difference between sleeping with your bedroom door open versus sleeping with the door closed. So here's bedroom number one here, and you can see it's a pretty regular bedroom like you'd have at home. This door is going to stay open. Come on over here. Second bedroom right over here. Again, a regular bedroom. Looks like you just have at home. We are going to close this bedroom door. So if you're sleeping, this door would be closed. That one would be open. We are going to start the fire here in the living room and see the difference between those rooms of how much smoke gets in there and how much time you'd have to get out. Steve Kerber, director of fire safety at UL, sets the fire. Within seconds, it's really going. We have cameras all over the house, even infrareds. And I'm at the control center watching it all live. Wow, it's only been two minutes, and look at that. The smoke is pouring through the door frame of the room with the door open. But in the room with the door closed, still completely survivable. Someone could be laying in that bed with no problem whatsoever. There's like no smoke at all. Nothing. As the fire rages, watch what happens in the room with the door left open. Three minutes now, and look at that. The smoke has dropped down. You'd be dying inside this room right now. You can't even see. Complete zero visibility. That smoke gets down past the bed. We've got CO in excess of 10,000 parts per million. Completely incompatible with life. Take a look at this side by side. On the left, the room with the open door. On the right, the room with the closed door. Huge difference. Life and death difference. So how does a simple door keep all this smoke and fire out? Check out this angle from the infrared camera with heat sensors. So what is it on the other side of the door? How hot is it? Other side of the door is 1,700 degrees. Inside, 77 degrees. So that door is just handling everything for you. Completely blocking the heat, making it survivable inside that bedroom. That fire now burning so hot, the living room window literally shattering into pieces, but still survivable in the closed door room. Firefighters swoop in to douse the flames. When the smoke clears, the reveal. Okay, this is really cool. They built the house with a removable wall so we can see this incredible side-by-side. -side. Room with the door open over here, room with the door closed over here. Look at that difference, and let's go inside. I'm going to put on this helmet and uh, the safety goggles here. Come on in. I mean, look at this. The room with the door open. These walls were white. Look what the smoke did. I mean... Everything exploded over here, and I have glass on the floor. You could not survive in here. But look at the huge difference. Come on this way. Be careful. As you come in here to the room where the door was closed. I mean, look at the bed. Look at the walls. You could live in here. You could have survived in here. Even the teddy bear didn't even change colors, not charred at all. You think about how much heat this door, regular wood door you'd have at home, how much it withstood. If this doesn't prove to you that you should sleep with the door closed, I don't know what does. And we've always said surviving a fire comes down to minutes, if not seconds, and this really does help. I'm hoping this story has an effect on all of you at home, all of you on the anchor desk as well. It's already changed my nighttime routine in my house. Now before bed, I make sure all the bedroom doors are closed, the kids' doors, our door, and again, I hope you do too. A clear takeaway this morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for that, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you.